This video is sponsored by Cinch Gaming. Use code VOICEGUM for 5% off any purchase. Thanks, dudes. What's going on, dudes? My name is Brady, but you can call me Scummy. And now today we're playing some more Advanced Warfare. We're actually playing some Kill Confirmed on Terrace. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit before this video gets started. Um, I know you guys, I can tell you guys this a lot in my videos, but just please go check out Cinch Gaming. Uh, use the code VOICEGUM if you end up buying something from them. It'll save you 5% off. And uh, it'll, it'll get me going on their, on their website. So thank you so much for that. And uh, get right into the gameplay. So peace. It's definitely not something I normally play. It's just, it's just kind of like a last minute video idea that I wanted to play. Because it just seemed fun to me. And of course there's a guy that came in the corner. It looks like the middle is kind of the point to be at. Can't jump. Oh my goodness. Alright, there's two. There's going to be someone coming right through here. I'm calling it. So uh, basically, before I get too caught up in the moment of this game, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the new uh, Call of Duty. And I know I already made a video about what I want, what I want from the new Call of Duty. I expect it to be in it, but I wanted to talk to you guys and give kind of a little bit of a questionnaire going on. Um, I want to know what you guys want in the next COD. Do you guys want EXO abilities? Do you want like the entire EXO suit? Do you want just a couple? Abilities like the side strafe or maybe just the double jump. It's a good question and a good topic going on right now. I want to know what you guys think. But the real reason I made this video was because I got a story to tell you guys. And it's kind of a story I don't really tell much many people. But it's just a story when I was younger with something I did. To be honest, it's, it's actually quite funny. So uh, we've all done stupid things when we were little kids. And we've all probably done some pretty funny things when we were kids. But I think my story might top everyone else's. And if you're wondering how, I'll put it to you like this, short and sweet. Basically, I was about, I'd say, 8 or 9 years old. And I, my parents took me to Walmart. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a food slash clothing store in Iowa. So basically, I get to Walmart with my parents, and I'm not happy. I did not want to go at all, and my parents still made me go, and it was just disastrous. It was awful. I didn't want to be there, and I just I wanted to go home, so I was going to do anything possible to get me home. So basically, what I decided to do is I decided to tell my parents I'm gonna go to the bathroom and when I go to the bathroom I don't actually go to the bathroom what I actually did was I went inside a women's clothing rack and hid from my mom and dad because me being the age I was I didn't know any better I didn't realize that it was gonna be this big of a deal so as I'm sitting in this clothes rack I'm sitting there giggling laughing and not even thinking about what's happening outside of the clothes rack I'm just sitting there having fun messing with women's clothing so next thing I'm, I'm here I'm hearing a bunch of people going crazy I'm hearing footsteps I'm hearing people running around and I'm not knowing what the hell's going on. I'm just thinking that it's just a normal day event. Next thing I know, I hear my name getting called over the intercom and me still being how young I was. I think it's funny. So my parents are still, at this point, still frantically looking around for me. They don't know where I'm at. They think I've been abducted. So Walmart security calls the police department. I eventually wait for one of my parents to get close enough to me that I pop out and say hello. Now, I don't know if this was as funny to you guys as it was to me, but when I was that age, I did not think anything of it. And to this day, my parents still remind me of it. Basically, what happens is when I get home, I get my ass chewed out. My dad freaks out on me. He gets hella pissed. And later did I find out that someone actually had got recently got abducted from that Walmart. So that's why they kind of took it a little too serious, like, in my standpoint, I'd say. Took it a little too far. But basically, that's my story I had to tell you guys today. It wasn't really much, but uh, I thought it was pretty funny. I'm just in love with this guy's emblem right now. Just ask someone straight up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot. Um, leave a like rating down below. Comment below. And as always, guys, this is your boy. Peace and out. Peace.